you would not believe all the stuff that I have in front of me. Honestly, you are going to be like, what did this girl literally just do at the Dollar Tree? So this is my Dollar Tree haul and I'm just going to go for it. And a lot of this is for crafting stuff and I killed it for summertime for Izzy. Just, you'll have to just wait a few minutes and see. So let me just jump on in with a couple of cute things that I found. So I have a little cousin named Murphy. He's perfection and he's wonderful and he is all about boy everything, cars, engines, working on things, you know, with tools and he's just the coolest kid in the universe and I love him. He's gonna be five. He is just like his grandpa and he just loves, he loves cars and all that stuff. So I found this at the Dollar Tree and I think that this is probably one of the cutest cars, probably because it's bright, probably because it's all about me, um, you know, in the color scheme. So surf and turf Hot Wheels at the Dollar Tree. Um, it, it has so much detail on it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has an incredible amount of detail on it and I think he will love it. So I grabbed it for him. And then he has a cousin named Dante and he's actually my cousin too. I, you know, I, he's my cousin. He's wonderful. He's older and he's just a doll. And so I got him this so that maybe him and Murphy can play. And this I think is so cool. Richie and I actually still, still do rock, paper, scissors just to be silly. And, um, for some reason I always lose and it makes me really not happy but um I'm not a great rock paper scissors type of girl and these are little finger puppet things that you can use to put on your finger and do rock paper scissors I think that they are absolutely ador adorable um and they're just they look fun Dante and Murphy can can play rock paper scissors and just have a good time for a dollar it's just a fun little thing to do so I I'm gonna leave that for one second and then I got these flowers okay because I'm intending on making another wreath on my square form that I got from the Dollar Tree I have a couple more left so I'm kind of thinking all pink I got that one I got that one and this one and this one that has a little tinge of peach to it. I got these. So, so pretty. I love them. They're all really full in bloom. So I got, these are the flowers that I'm gonna mix in um, to the wreath. And then I got these, which I think these are really cool. I love these. I think that they're really just, they look whimsical to me and I think that they'd be pretty on the wreath with the pink. They're a little bit of off-white, just a tin, like a tinge of like off-white so that they're not too bright. It's a three-piece um, in each and I'm going to incorporate those in the wreath. I did get, uh, I do have some pink ribbon already. So I grabbed two more of these because this is like one of my very favorite ribbons and I think it will be cute with those flowers and those decorative wire balls. I don't know. I don't know. Wire balls. <laughs> I don't even know um, what you'd refer to them as. Um, and then I got this, which I think that this is the sweetest. Let me move back. That is just cute as can be. It, it's a door hanger um it's got a cute little bow at the top and the three stars I usually always put something that I make on my front door and then on the other front door to the side I usually get something at the Dollar Tree to hang over there and then on my main door coming in and out 
I usually get something really cute and festive from the Dollar Tree. So I am going to be starting to take down all of the sunflower stuff in the rest of the house. I've done a ton of cleaning up, a ton of organizing and stuff. So um, now over the next couple of days, I'm going to be taking down all the sunflower stuff, cleaning it, packing it away, and then I'm going to start decorating for 4th of July around the house. So I think that that was all the stuff that I got toward making the wreath. And then I also got this. I've been um, really into putting bird feeders and, and stuff up around the yard and getting all of my little wildlife animals to come and they've all been out there playing together and having fun so i thought i'd get these three little bird houses three is a significant number for me i usually pick things up in three if i really like it so i got these three wooden feet bird feeders i probably won't use them as bird feeders i'm just going to use them as a decorative piece i'm going to paint them maybe up at camp this weekend and make them look really pretty and bright and cute and then use them for decorations around the yard but probably not to put any bird seed in them or anything like that the, the holes are too small but they are sweet looking and um i can't wait to decorate those and paint them and my yard is full of bunnies and squirrel and chipmunks and there is a um gopher gopher yeah, a gopher underneath the shed, which may or may not cause a problem, but I love him. He's ginormous and he is just precious and they all hang out together when I sprinkle all of the bird feed out there, all of the food for them to nibble on and stuff. And I just sit there with my camera forever videotape. They're kind of getting used to me, so they're not running away when I come outside which really makes me happy. So I'm out there with my little woodland creatures and um, we're having a good time with it. And I'm bird watching and all that stuff. We've had some really cool birds fly into the yard and feed off of all the seed and all the bird um, feeders that are hanging around my backyard. And all the colors are still out there because I'm leaving all the, that decorations up from the wedding throughout the summer. I'm incorporate some other things for 4th of July when I get it. And, um, and I just, I'm excited and it's so cute. So I found this book and my mom started picking up books at Dollar Tree when they get good selections in. And I found this one for her, which I think sounds really cute. It's called, Hey Harry, Hey Matilda. You know, we'll see. It's, she loves books. She does nothing but read. She just, she loves to read. So I saw this, it had a cute description in it. Um, and it's just a cute book. I thought she should try. Um, I used to love reading a lot, but as I've become busier and busier, you know, in life, I have definitely not had the time to read as I always had when I was growing up. Um, eventually someday when I'm retired and living in my camper and watching the sunsets and the sunrises, I will read again someday. I have plenty of books to catch up on. So I found these socks. I already gave Richie his Father's Day gift, if you can believe it. I really did already give it to him um, a couple of weeks ago. I had a bunch of stuff collected um, in, a, in a basket and I had it hiding in the house. And before we went up to camp for the first time to see the camper, I decided that I was just gonna give him his Father's Day stuff. And um, so, I've already given it to him. We've already kind of celebrated the day the last couple of weekends that we've gone away. And, but I picked up these socks because he loves these funky socks. These have little televisions on it that actually looks like the television when I was growing up that I had in my living room. It's that old set. Um, I wish I had it back. I love that TV. It was just the coolest. So I found these. I love the neon it and the bright colors. So I grabbed those for him. He can add it to his sock collection. Um, and let's see, let's see, I'll show you that in a minute. All right, so I don't know if anybody else can relate, but I love pictures and I love things that are bright. Obviously, if you know me, you know by now that I love everything bright, colorful, vibrant. Um, and I love to hang things and especially in my craft room and little odds and ends throughout each room that might brighten up my space even more and give me something um, beautiful to look at. But I have always looked at cards 
other for other purposes other than just getting it as a you know a gift towards someone to get a card or whatever i look at them for the print on them to see if it you know if it's pretty it's colorful it's fun it's me then and it doesn't say anything specific on the front of it i'll grab it and i bought a frame so i've done this forever but i found this card it's blank inside it's a hallmark card it was 50 cents i'm this is this is me and so i grabbed that frame so that i can put it in the frame and then i will hang it i will hang it up and i will enjoy it and i will love it and i will think it's beautiful and it will make me want to go to the beach every day and head down to florida to see my best friend and that is why i got that and then i love this one love 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 i don't know if any of you watch it on youtube but they are the cutest videos that i think that are on youtube anyways um at all is the oh, two cans or the the parrots and the peacocks not the peacocks what the heck am i talking about you know all of these types of birds they have a hilarious personality you should look up some videos pertaining to them it will crack you up for days i've watched them i can't remember the bird's specific name but i've watched almost all of his videos and he is hilarious he's got a huge personality he cracks me up he looks like this one right here and i worship him and if you guys watch the videos with him you will love him too so i grabbed this another white frame so that i can hang them next to each other and then those can be my summer prints and then when summer is over then i take them down put it in my summer bucket so i had gotten a bunch of thank you cards for the wedding um in a pack but then i decided i was gonna grab some other ones that i could give um more individually so that they're not all the same so i got a, I, I already got a few the other day they're in another bag in here um but i picked these up and these are just thank you cards that i'm gonna hand out once i get that all together to start writing those out for my sunflower wedding and then here is a really cute shirt i mean i think it's honestly too big for richie since he lost weight and um but i love it it's really like it's soft it's cottony it has this really cool um neck i i don't really like the the crew necks where it's tight i love a v-neck um and this is such great material it's that like soft um cotton and it's like thin and kind of ridged a little bit and the buttons and i was so surprised to find this it doesn't even say a size on it honestly but it it is rather big so you know i might even wear it like just for a cover up at the beach i might tie dye it um i think it's way too big for richie i love really big stuff i always have so I could wear this with my bathing suit under it, some sandals, go to the beach. Um, I do want to tie dye soon. I love to tie dye. So maybe if I camp one of these weekends, I'll get the stuff and bring the, the tie dye stuff up there and get some shirts done for the summertime. And then these I got just because I love them. And I'm going to bring them up to camp this weekend so that we can all sit around and have a really cute drink i love the gold you know i love the gold um metallic -y look i think these cups are so cute there's six in here so i grabbed these and i grabbed these um paper straws and they're gold and so I'm stick a straw in there have a nice pretty drink and sit by the water get a tan at camp this weekend um for it let's do it let's go right now i wish we could um, this also, I don't know if anybody has tried these, but these are fantastic. I got a hot pink one for the wedding to write on a chalkboard and it wrote so nicely and I loved it. So I was super excited when I went to the store. I found this gold one and I cannot wait to write on it. And I got this little chalkboard 
write notes, write honey-do list, you know, for the day and, and stuff, and then just wipe it off and write on it and leave it on the counter. Leave little love notes to one another as you're passing through the day in and out from work and whatnot. So, and it has this cute little easel type of stand with a little gold pen. They had these in every color, and honestly, I was gonna try to pick up more colors, but I like the gold the most right now, and I already know that I have the hot pink one, so I knew I wanted this one next, but they had purple, they had green, they had um, a, an, a, like, not iridescent, but like a grayish one that was um, silvery. That's what I'm trying to say. And um, so, if I want more, I can just run back and get it, but I just got the gold for now. Um, again, I'm going to be decorating for the 4th of July. I have always loved centerpieces. Every party, everything, I decorate the tables. So when I do my kitchen table, this is going to be in the center of it. That's what it looks like when it's unfolded. That will be on the kitchen table when I'm ready to put it up. I got these really cute napkins. There's 18 napkins in here. Just the basic American flag, beautiful, gorgeous. I love it. I'll set those out as well at each place setting at the table. Um, and then my Richie is going to be 39 on Friday, June 5th. So I am excited to celebrate that with him. Uh, we thought we were gonna make it up to camp on Friday night, but Richie, um, no, Izzy has to work much later because they've changed the hours almost back to completely normal at the grocery store that he works at. So we aren't gonna be able to get up there Friday night, which is really unfortunate because it is Richie's birthday. I am gonna be baking a cake in a few hours. Um, when Isaiah has gone off to work, I will film that. I'm gonna bake his birthday cake and um, we're gonna start celebrating probably at some point tomorrow over the weekend for Richie's birthday, 39 years old. I don't know how this goes. We're Wait, hold on. I can't tell from looking in this thing. So, 39? No? Yeah? I don't know. What do you guys say? You see 93, 39? What do you see? I don't know. Um, so, I got a 39, but this can also go over to me because July 6th, I will also be 39 years old. So, it will go from his cake to my cake. And um, I thought those were cute, and they have the little happy birthday um things that we can put in the cake also and i will be recording that later i already have i have a whole cabinet full of all my baking stuff because normally i bake on a pretty frequent basis i think i've mentioned that in the other videos i love to bake the thing is that i don't really eat it too much afterwards but i love to bake it because i love to decorate it and i like to put it together at the end so that is um going to happen in a little while and then i will have it for is today thursday yes it is today's thursday so tomorrow's his birthday i am lost i am lost i've lost track of the week the days everything so um so i'm gonna get that done later and i will film myself baking it just a simple cake i have a whole baking section under the sink um under one of the cabinets that i put all of my goodies in a lot of things that I find at the dollar store, I just stash down there for times that I'm feeling like I want to bake cookies, I want to bake cupcakes, I want to bake muffins, I want to bake a cake. Um, I have all my decorating things and my tools and utensils and my tips and my piping bags and all that stuff. I just haven't had time for a while to really try to do it. Cake pops was the last catastrophe that I did and I haven't done anything since. Um, and if you ever watched that cake pop video, which is kind of comical, uh, or if you didn't, you can go back and check it out. It was a train wreck, um, <laughs> but it was one of my favorite nights. It was just a lot of work. And I probably won't be trying to form cake pops again, at least on my own. So, um, wee wee pads, because Candy is trained on wee wee pads. Um, she has been since camp though, going outside a lot more, which I'm really grateful for. Uh, she's going to be 13 years old, so old dogs are hard to train, but all these years that I've had her outside, she generally holds it until she gets back in, so she has designated spots in the back of the house with wee wee pads down, and that's what she uses to do her business. So I had to pick some more up. There's four to a package, too. 
So, I mean, it's not bad. I like it better when they have five to a package, which they haven't had for a while. Um, but the four is, you know, it's not bad either. So I got these plates. This is just one package. There's four and it's a bright red and I have some blue bowls, not traditional like flag type of colors, but I'll make it work as I'm decorating the table. I'm going to place the blue bowls on top of it. Those were also from the Dollar Tree. You'll see them in the decorating video for that. And then I got myself some Reynolds wrap because we are fresh out. And then I think we're getting to my favorite part, but I'm going to try to do this bag first. You hear the clanking? I found these ball jars. So these ball jars are humongous. They are ginormous. They are the actual ball jars. I got four of them. I got four of them and I'm thinking about, you know, what I'm going to put in them. Tons of ice, smoothies, fruit drinks, um, you know, camping fun time drinks with a lot of ice, a cute straw in there. Uh, I'm excited. I found those. I actually might make that whipped coffee. I don't know if anybody's seen the video on TikTok, um, but you can find it it for whipped coffee and it actually is so good because I have tried it once but I wanted to make it for a, a you know all of us on one day that we're just kind of chilling in the morning at home all together and um and enjoy that in a nice big ball jar glass I just love these they're huge they are huge and I can fill so much in this I will be, I will be looking cute walking around with my ball jar with my whipped coffee in it or my fruit drink. So I want to do some more painting if we can over the weekend while we're up at camp. I grabbed some of these canvases. These are the thin ones, not the ones that, you know, have the canvas type of setting on it where you can like hang it on the wall. These are flat. But you, all you have to really do is get some type of like a little fixture to put on the back of it and then you can hang it. Um, One dollar at the dollar store and then I can paint it crafter's corner. I love it. This one is an absolutely huge one. This is an 11 by 14 which this is one of the big, biggest ones I've ever seen them carry. I just grabbed one of those because that's a lot of space to fill and sometimes I don't even have that much time to paint. So um I only grab one of those and we'll see what I can come up with on those. And then my friend didn't know that the Dollar Tree sold these canvases. So these ones are an 8x10, I believe. Yeah, these are the 8x10. I got her three of them to bring up to camp for her to paint on because she loves to paint too. So I grabbed those for her. And then I also grabbed her one of these. These are the 5x7 ones. There's two to a package. So I grabbed one for her, one for me. So we got a lot of painting to do. And then this book I thought was the cutest thing. I might save it for myself or I might give it to um, to my grandchild someday if Isaiah blesses me with any grandkids, which I don't think he's going to. He's pretty firm about that. He doesn't want kids. He wants to travel, work hard, and um, whatever makes him happy, I'm for it. So. We'll save this until I know what to do with it. But I thought that this book was the cutest thing ever. Monkey Not Ready for Kindergarten. The illustration in it is just the sweetest illustration. Like the pictures in it are fantastic. The content of the story is really, really sweet. Um, hold on, let me see if I can. Mm. Oh, I just, I love the colors. I love the pictures. I love the monkeys. I think that they are precious looking. I'm getting to almost my most exciting part. I just, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Um, this is what I used in my hair for my wedding. And I don't know if any of you can find it, but my wedding was supposed to be a beach theme as we all pretty much know at this point that got canceled. And I am all about the ocean and, uh, the earth and everything, um, uh, natural and beautiful and, and, 
summery and stuff like that. So this is salt spray. This is from Rockaholic TIG Bedhead. Um, it's called Thunderstruck Struck Texturizing Salt Spray. This is a really big bottle and this is what I used in my hair because I still wanted a touch of the ocean on me even though it was a sunflower wedding in the backyard. This is a salt spray. It smells amazing. I'm telling you it smells great. It's um, 8.5 fluid ounces. It's a big bottle. It smells great. It did amazing um, in my hair. It made it feel like I just got out of the ocean. That salty smell. Um, it is just such a I, I loved it so much but my mother wanted to see if she could try it and I couldn't find another one until today I grabbed it for her so I know I have one and she has one and then I bought these because these I thought were so beautiful and I'm gonna clip up the side of my hair with my little bobby pins and I absolutely love the blue one of course so I grabbed those I was really looking for the ones that had like the words on it that say sassy or whatever but they didn't have those they had those in a couple of different varieties of pink and pearls and stuff like that so I grabbed that package and these scissors are it for me I'm gonna feel like such a fairy princess using these when I do my crafts I love them I don't know why it will, won't focus on the flowers in it but oh I think that these are stunning and I can't wait to use them and then I bought these for the table as I decorate it it says land of the free I'm going to put those up as the cups around the table once I do the place settings oh my god it's already 26 minutes almost 27 minutes all right we're almost done um text mix I normally buy these in the store for about $2.50 in the regular grocery store. These are both decent sized bags. They are 8.75 ounces in each one of them. So I got two for a dollar and it pretty much makes more than the regular bag that I can buy at the grocery store for $2.50. And sometimes in different types of stores, they're even like $3. So if you find those, you can pick those up. There's the other ball jar. So there's the fourth ball jar. I love them. We're almost done. We're almost done. I don't know if any of you have ever noticed, but they do have really good juices at the Dollar Tree. And this is, they're all diet. Um, this brand, the Old Orchard. I don't see any regular ones. Um, when I go, I always see the diet ones. And this one is Healthy Balance, Pomegranate Blue, I think it's a kai blue blueberry a kai maybe correct me if i'm wrong so i got three of these for the house and we drink those um when we want something other than water and um so i got three of those okay so this is it and i'm gonna do this fast because i know that i've already taken up a lot of your time but i'm telling you right now that this is the type of stuff that I did the last time that I got um, things ready for the summertime to head toward us. The 22 boxes of cereal that I got about four months ago at the Dollar Tree when we hit it really big, I haven't ever found anything like that ever again. And to buy a box of cereal usually costs us about $3 to, to $4 per box. And um, that's a lot. So I always check the Dollar Trees before I go to the store for any type of cereal. Isaiah is a huge cereal kid. He always has been. He loves cereal. So I have not found any good name brand cereal in a really long time. And he has blown through those boxes, especially being home because of the quarantine. He has blown through boxes of cereal like nobody's business. And we don't always get this, the sugary cereal. Sometimes we get Cheerios, we get um, Raisin Brand, we get Honey Nut Clusters and oats and things like that. But for even he eats them as a dessert like after dinner, he, like a late night snack, 
you know, he eats it for breakfast. He might have a quick bowl for lunchtime or something like that. Um, if he's in a hurry, he loves cereal. So today when I went to the Dollar Tree, I actually found a tremendous amount of really good cereal. And I am so excited because now we are again stocked up for the summertime. It will take a little while to get through this, but I found them. And the date on it is December 22nd of 2020. So they're perfectly, they're perfectly good. Nothing's gonna happen to them. They're gonna be eaten well before, um, you know, that date, the, so I got, I got five boxes in total, five boxes in total of the Lucky Charms. And I think that the reason, um, it's just a special edition. It's a special edition and um, they look yummy to me. They look yummy to me. So I got five boxes of those. And then I got this one. I got the Reese's Puff. The date on these are January 11th of 2021. So these are even higher of a date. So I got five of these. I got five of the Reese's, which I'm excited about. And he loves those. And then I got these, which is, this is a ginormous box. And he absolutely loves maple. He loves maple everything. He is obsessed with maple of anything at all. He just loves it. And so this is a humongous box. And the date for this is um november 12th of 2020 so it's still really up there maple cheerios lowers your cholesterol okay we'll take it so i grabbed two boxes of those and then this one i don't think that they're gonna like maybe they will and maybe they won't because so i only got one box but they had like a whole shelf of it and these are coconut toasted coconut and I might like them because I like coconut. So I only grab one box of this. I will probably try that at some point today because if I do like it, I'm going to run back and grab some more. So that is the cereal stash that will get us pretty much through the summer other than picking up odds and ends of cereal here and there. I did grab some of these Ellie's. I think it's Ellie's or Elle's bagels. There is four in each thing. So eight um, bagels all together for $2. Usually I get a package of um, six bagels at the grocery store for about two bucks. So there's eight bagels for $2. And those are just the plain ones. They didn't have the cinnamon raisin today. And then a brick of cream cheese, which this is a normal size of cream cheese. We've had it before. The stuff is what I'm gonna bring up to camp for him to grab um, you know, for breakfast in the morning. This is great cream cheese. Tastes just like any other brick of cream cheese. Bought that from the dollar store. These egg noodles, because I wanted to have it with chicken tonight. And those cook up nice and soft and yummy. And I am done. I am almost done. I am almost done. Don't leave me now. We're almost there. Um, and I grabbed two more packages of boxes of gummy, Ninja Turtles, and Woody. There is 10 to a package for a dollar at the grocery store you buy them you know granted they don't have a ton of different characters and all that stuff they usually got a couple of boxes here and there with different characters on it the grocery store you can pretty much pick out any type of um character that you want but gummies are gummies to us it doesn't really matter there's 10 pouches in each for one dollar so i grab those because we still like gummies and I'll bring those up to camp for little things to nibble on. And this is it, this is it, this is all of it. And our wraps from the dollar store, there's 12 in each thing. Grab some cold meat, some of those tuna packets that they have at the dollar store, put them in a wrap and we are good. 
so it's five minutes more than what I thought it would be. I apologize. I hope you guys stuck around with me. I'm telling you, please go to the dollar store. If I, I mean, I do travel around. I go to dollar stores everywhere, literally everywhere. I don't care about traveling. I don't care um, about time. If I have it, I will go to the dollar store. If it's going to save me money, I, you know, put a little in gas and then, you know, I get what I need to fill the holes um, that cost me a lot less than getting it at the grocery store. I have a 16 and a half year old really huge guy that likes to eat and this saves me money and that's what works for me. And cereal is like the highlight of my trips when I find it. So I hope you guys find some cereal. Summer's coming up. These kids are going to be home even longer with us they're hungry go find you some cereal some gummies some odds and ends that might get you through the summer your crafting supplies keep your kids busy and enjoy every minute of it because they're not going to be little for too long all right i hope you guys have a wonderful thursday happy weekend um coming i hope you guys have a beautiful one and i will be talking to you soon bye